here at um, Jared's. Where are we? Jared's. Jared's Cross. Jared's Cross Golf Course with uh, Equin Construction and crew. Uh, sitting in the cab here is Andy, one of the talented lads. Um, and we're just going to show you how to calibrate a bucket today. Pat's got a new brand spanking ink on, um, which needs calibrating. Um, all very simple with uni control. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do in the app is just hold down on the buckets button. Um, copy a bucket to create a new one. I'm going to call this Encon Digging. Done. Done. Make sure that's selected, so just click through. Okay. Back into the screen. And then we hit Calibrate down the bottom here. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got a <coughs> tilt rotator on, so we have both of those enabled. Um, hit Next. Um, at this point, we've got two different methods of calibrating the bucket. Um, the first one is with the plumb bob, as we can see here. Um, these little dialogues run you through the steps. So measure the length, yeah. measure the width, and then drop a plumb bob from the bucket pin um, to measure the offset. Um, the other way we can uh, calibrate a bucket which is what we're going to do today is, is by using a, a line laser. Um, so again, measure the length, measure the width, um, measure the bucket inclination in the open position, yeah. and then close it up, and measure it in the closed position. Um, the first dimension we want to measure is the width, um, which is the length from the widest part to the widest part of the bucket. Okay. Um, just pull our tape across there. We're at one, two, one, five. Just enter that value into the screen. And the next dimension we want to measure is from the bucket pin. Okay. There, so the rotation point yeah. of the quick hitch in the bucket um, down to the down to the down tooth. To the or okay, cool. Blade in the case of a yeah a bladed bucket. So I'll just get you to hold the tape on the end there, Andy. One nine five oh, cool. So back in the cab here. Um, like I said earlier, today we're using the what you control called the open close method. Um, so we've got our laser set up um, in front of the machine there. Um, we've got the laser line at the level of the edge of the teeth. Um, and at this point, Andy can just hit that set open button on the cat on the display there. Yep. So that's set the inclination of the bucket in the open okay. position. Okay. And now you just want to close the bucket up without moving the machine um, until that laser hits the edge of the tooth again. Now that laser's on the on the edge of the tooth, just hit that set that close button. Closed. And hit next. And now we've got a calibrated bucket. Um, so what you can do if 
you're, if you're not feeling lazy, is do a little validation. And this doesn't change any settings. It's just to check on your calibration. Okay. Um, so you can either use a laser level or a, yeah, or a yeah. fixed point to do that. Okay. Today, pretty pretty confident we've got that one right. So we'll just click done, and that's our new bucket calibrated.